Now, but before we start, thanks for watching. Kindly click subscribe button, notification bell, and like it if it pleases you. Let's begin. This is a demonstration video segment for upcoming lectures on multi-purpose vessel, general cargo, and heavy lift vessel. In this demo, I am presenting an application called Load Planner Crane Simulation. This application is designed specifically for general cargo ship, multi-purpose ship, and or heavy lift vessels. As a disclaimer, I am not affiliated with any training centers, neither the simulator maker or application utilized in this segment. However, it is with voluntary and bona fide intention to endorse the maker. I can vouch for it. It is a powerful tool that any maritime training centers, colleges, and institutions alike can be a valuable asset in their facilitation of related subject matter. Check on the description below. This is their main website page. Links are included for you to check their products and services. And before anything else, keep posted and follow up with the series for LPG cargo operations where part segment will be completed soon, followed by LNG cargo operations and eventually for oil tankers such as product or clean product carriers or petroleum ship and a series of chemical tankers including bulk carrier ship. And so let's begin with the demonstration. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's start the demonstration. I'm going to open a, a file and uh, it's loading right now. It takes a couple of seconds, but it's quite, and as you can see, it's open already. We have here a cargo model and you can see the, uh, it has two cranes and two holds, two large holds. This is the uh, side view looking from the back or front. And this is the side view, a uh, front view. Well, this side view and this is the top view and the cranes are uh, basically uh, fitted on the leftmost or fourth side of the vessel typically this is what we call a general or multi-purpose uh, vessel and basically it looks like this in this image and this one and so with this one right so uh, we will be loading uh, a windmill tower so this is how it looks of course we won't be loading the whole thing as a whole it will be loaded in parts and uh, so what we are going to do is to load uh, one part of it like the tower itself and then eventually blades the um, other uh, parts such as the rotor and uh, the so-called nacelle right and uh, some of them will be carried in a container box like 40 footer or 20 footer but we'll just uh, create one unit as of now so we are gonna go here unit properties and we select this new button and as you can see here it says wind tower so this is basically one part of the tower so if we stack it up together and it will be assembled vertically erected and you have your wind mill tower right so the, this is the outside the large uh, end diameter and the small end diameter so basically in this area from the left side as you can see i'm pointing now it's a large it has a larger diameter while this one is a smaller diameter that uh, piece over there that you could see standing are just almost the same size vertically standing is the crate that's the one that they use in order to be secured properly on deck so okay we uh, just close that one and then we put in some values the length of the uh, wind tower is about 30 meters and it has a width of uh, let's say four meters and let's just make it uh, the same four meters also for the uh, height and the weight is well believe it or not it's 200 tons so if you have seen an oil tanker uh, by the road or an lpg tanker a, a truck that carries an lpg that's that truck is basically is about 20 tons so you can imagine it's about 10 times uh, heavier right so in here uh, we have again uh, four that's the uh, outside diameter uh, of the larger one and we'll just make it make it easier even for and of course the length of the um, uh, in including the cradle is about 29 meters and the length uh, the width of the cradle is about uh, 2.5 cradle from end to end that's 29 meters and there's a clearance on the base when you put it on deck on top of the ship or oh, defending uh, we can put it here on the lower hold or on the twin deck but, uh, let's just push it put it on top so it's about 0.3 right so there we go we save it and uh, 
we load it somewhere yeah we put it here let's say we're gonna load it here okay now we go to uh the plan model so that we could utilize the so-called crane shimmer and there we go right so i'll make it a little bit smaller smaller we put it in here so that you could see both the this is the front forward uh, part of the vessel so the vessel is this is the warp in this area on her left side or port side in the ship terminology so now uh, we could actually uh, do some rigging so, right so we're gonna click the drawing tool all right and we're gonna have that move all right as you can see i'm putting it in here so hold a minute i'm gonna go here Pan it right so there you go and i'm gonna just gonna put it to where the uh, lifting points of the cargo and of course i'm gonna do the other one uh, it's basically automatically has been put so you can see that's it there you go you can see the crane there on top and the hook now we have to define the uh, points who of the lifting points all right so this is the lifting points as you can see here right uh, so we're, gonna, we're gonna have to select the lift, lifting points it has four lifting points and now uh, we're gonna have for the number two and then number three in here and so again another here number four and we select the center of gravity normally the shipper who uh, is actually uh, uh, shipping this uh, cargo and it's the vessel that's gonna be carrying they provide description where is the center of the gravity of uh, the xyz uh, axis and at the same time the weight and the whole description actually and they even suggest a uh, load plan but most cases it's the ship who will decide how to load it because uh, it's the vessel's decision to find a surface and a possible way that uh, it won't it won't be damaged and at the same time it won't have any issues with the ship stability and handling of the vessel so now uh, we can save that and create this one pick and we can save right so as you can see we now have the uh, cranes uh, rig and of course we're gonna have to uh, select uh, how many cranes are we going to use in this case i've already put in two cranes as you can see it's a large uh, cargo so i'm gonna use one and two so there are two cranes here all right so and of course we're gonna be using a spreader uh, slings only all right so now we have to and uh, we have to put some yeah six meters for the uh, drop down of the wires now you have to there you go it's a little bit uh, put below the deck but that's okay right right so now we can uh, actually uh, move the cranes and put it into position like on the ship side all right there you go and you'll be able to see also that the simulation is uh, doing well now as you can see it's on the ship side already and we'll be utilizing some uh, steps so uh, let's say uh, we're gonna bring down a little bit to about negative seven thousand 8,000 yeah make it 8,000 so it's uh let's just assume this is the pier and this is the lowest part of the pier this is the deck of the pier and this is the water here and the vessel is floating and this is where the car uh, cargo is coming from and if you notice also that uh, you can check also on the port side the there you go you see can you see the graphs this tells you how far is the cargo from your ship side so it's about uh, five six seven eight nine seven meters so your crane and as you can see this uh, circular line that's where the reach uh, length uh, limitation of your outreach of your crane so meaning to say the longer uh, or the uh, farther the reach the lesser you can lift a cargo for example this one in this area this crane can extend its jib or arm but it can only carry about 40 metric tons right that's about 33 meters from the ship side but if you are carrying if you if you can uh, put the cargo closer to the ship side and let's say we have an example already which is a wind tower it can carry 200 metric tons because as you can see uh this is yeah it can even carry uh, this is the green one here you can see this one it's about 450 metric tons so it can carry a cargo of 450 metric tons that is for its crane and we are carrying two uh, we are using two cranes so basically it will be a little bit easier 
because they are sharing the load together and the, the, lo the load or weight is distributed evenly for both cranes that is of course if you are doing it the correct way or the, the right way right so now let's do and go back with the simulation and put it there so i'm gonna record this step right and then i'm gonna bring it up to about uh, minus six thousand goes up a little bit uh, and i'm just gonna set the step again and i'm gonna bring it to say minus uh, four thousand and save it again and i'm gonna bring it up to about minus or uh, say plus one thousand or uh, even uh, 2000 oh no let, let's make it 3000 and let's save that one so now we can uh, actually slowly uh take in the cargo inside so uh, d depends on the uh, situation uh, it's either uh, the ship can actually do it uh, a synchronized way but depending on the cargo uh, status here we can actually get it inside a little bit just like that and we save that step also then again the next crane will follow suit put it here and save that step and then of course the next crane uh, this is actually uh, of course monitored by a responsible officer and most cases the chief officer will be there and uh, of course sometimes the uh, Cargo superintendent is there. I'm gonna save this one step by step, and we're gonna have to put it to the to that area where we initially plan to put in the cargo. I'm gonna enlarge it a little bit so that you you can see. There we go, and save that step. All right, so let's have a full overview of every single bit of it, and let's make it slower, and we run. As you can see, it leaves the cargo and slowly it's being loaded on top of this uh, bezel and as you can see also on the top view and the side view and this uh, front view is slowly being loaded to the ship side on the starboard side and there you go it's now picks in place of course you can check with your stability at the same time this one has a stability and i'm only demonstrating actually how to uh, utilize the crane simulator and basically this is being done on board and in the old days they have to do uh, some uh, manual computation and this goes on hand or in parallel with the stability dynamics of the vessel now take note this is very important when loading especially with uh, uh, different sizes of cargo and very heavy cargo it's delicate uh, method of uh, loading otherwise uh, you'll not only get into trouble of destroying or damaging your cargo but in most cases it could cost your ship or even your life you know if you have heard vessel who have capsized because they were not able to uh, 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 i mean uh, lifted or loaded properly now as you can see also if i bring it up it's not yet down to the deck and uh, let's just put that also to about uh, 2000 uh, to 25 oh no that's uh, i think it's 26 yeah okay so and then of course we have to save that step right so now it's now of course to be secured now securing is another matter uh, as you can see i'm showing this uh, images here i'll be discussing also uh, securing lashing lashing points uh, and of course the dynamics of physics when the vessel is rolling pitching and uh, the, the factors if it's on deck of course it's affected by wind and the weather so uh, the tipping point of the uh, uh, load, loaded cargo so in the center of the gravity now uh, i can explain this uh, further in the next uh, lectures you know it's like uh, you know a crane is like just imagine it's your body and your arm uh, the torso is your uh, it's the crane's body and uh, the, your arms is the lever so try to to hold up a weight uh, where you stretch uh, your hands or arm perpendicularly to the ground and if that weight is so heavy it's gonna give you uh, some stresses and tension into your um, uh, arm but if you are carrying only a glass of water then it will be easier now that uh, kind of cargo is almost the same principles now if you leave a heavier cargo and you try to uh, put up your arm in a higher angle then you would be able to carry that uh, say let's say a bag a bag of a sack of rice then you will be able to carry it uh, easier rather than extending your arms in a perpendicular way to the ground 
So, that's the same principle actually that is happening. But that's not the whole thing. In a ship, everything is actually affected, you know, especially with regards to your uh, stability, uh, your GM or metacentric height. So, this is where you don't want your ship to capsize. Uh, especially that ship, uh, that weight is being loaded on top, which is 200 metric tons. We call it, uh, when you load that kind of thing, is top heavy. As if you put a weight on top of your head. So if you are walking and there's a weight on top of your head, uh, you, you will uh, be out of balance. But if you are carrying it between your legs with your two arms, then you have more balance because you have a steady footing. And the center of gravity is well below your, your torso. While this one, the center of gravity goes towards the cargo, upward. In fact, when the, the crane is lifting, the center of gravity is uh, literally shifted to the hook and up to the point of the uh, crane or the runner, as we call it. Right? So, anyway, this is just a demonstration. Uh, I'm just uh, showing you that uh, this kind of... Uh, tool is a very powerful uh, for general uh, cargo ships, uh, multi-purpose vessel and heavy lift. And uh, one by one, we will be uh, dealing with uh, specific cargo such as uh, wind vanes, wind turbines, uh, containers, uh, other uh, different sizes. You know, that, that's the difference compared to bulk ships, uh, which is shown in this picture. A bulk ship ca carry almost one homogeneous cargo like uh, a grain, uh, cement, iron ore, sand. But with general cargo ship, it's different. I'll be discussing also bulk in the near future. But this might be going for us as soon as I'm finished with the tankers. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. And just keep posted.